Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna try and play with something called easy cap and uh, this easy cap is uh, something well it has a USB 2 port here and you can connect it and you can capture things uh, this is for capturing old 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 signals like from your good old video camera when we were talking VHS and stuff like that I recently had Anki Joe uh, from Anki Joe's Playhouse capture a VHS tape for me in the United States because in the United States they run with another video system than we did or do over here. We use the PAL system in Europe and in the US they use the NTSC um, video format. So uh, it was um, easier to have Anki Joe uh, just rip that VHS tape for me and just set the file over. But it didn't mean that I didn't want to try this myself. I have actually had video grabbing cards before. Uh, I actually bought a really expensive one back in the days when this was fancy. The one I had was using the ISA bus in the old computers. That was before PCI and I paid $800 for that thing back then. $850 actually. It was really awesome, really expensive, crashed all the time. Uh, so today I'm gonna try this one. This one came from China and it's like $6 with shipping it comes well this is what you get you get a manual and this manual is for some wireless video receiver it doesn't it has nothing to do with the device itself then it comes with a little usb cable here that's just an extender so that you don't have to have this sitting in in the back of the computer you can extend it a little bit and you can put it off the side then it comes with a software cd a tiny little one and it actually also has a little serial number on the front there we might need that and um, i was gonna connect this to a computer and as this is some old stuff uh, this will work on windows xp and windows 7 and some more which are for vista uh, i don't think it will work on anything newer than that uh, i couldn't find that anyone had tried this on newer pcs than windows 7 so we're gonna be trying it on a Windows 7. I tried it yesterday on a Windows XP machine, only to find out that it also requires a USB 2 port, not a USB 1 port. So um, today I'm retrying this. So let's uh, let's go to the computer and uh, install some stuff. Okay, so I have a old Hewlett Packard laptop here, uh, which is running Windows 7. And we're gonna try and install this CD on that. Uh, I was not sure if I am um, well I was also thinking about installing it on this little Cinovo box over here which is a Windows 10 machine and for that I had uh, copied it out to a USB stick the data from the CD but as this computer actually does have a CD-ROM drive we might as well try that it's I don't use that much so uh, so we can plop that in there are months between that I use one of those. And I'm guessing that it's... Maybe it will pop up? Okay, it's it's actually working ish and it pops up with the um, install. So we're gonna run the installation. And it wants some... Um, are we okay with this? Oh, well, should, probably shouldn't be. I haven't connected this computer to the internet. so. Uh, we get some languages. Let's pick English. Uh, that's really the one that I most fluented in uh, in that selection. Anyway, next. This is just next, next, finish. Sure. Next. Agree to the license agreement. It's pretty nice that it actually says uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna be using it for. I wanna have, I do have some VHS tapes, these good old ones. 
uh, have some movies that I've never been able to find on the internet afterwards. I uh, have them on VHS tapes. I don't really need them to be on VHS tapes anymore. So my idea is grab them and get rid of them. These has probably, well, that was from back in the days when, you know, you went down to the local video store and rented a couple of movies and watched those and, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> we kind of made a copy for enjoying later. So, okay, that installed. So let's see what happens if we plug in this box. I'll take the CD out, we need that. Because they were so nice to deliver the serial number on there. So let's pop this in, see what happens. I have a USB connection over here on the side. There. It finds something. So we got a new icon up here. So let's see. It wants the serial number, so I'm gonna punch that in. Okay, so we have something here. Let's see, options. It sees our thing here, so that is cool. So now I need to put some kind of a signal into it. And for that, <clears throat> we have dug up the old VHS tape machine over here. So, uh, we will just have a little look at that. This is, I have had a lot of VHS tape machines and uh, well, when these were a thing. This one I kept around uh, just because it's it's a very simple machine and it it works, It at least it worked when we were using it. And this is a VHS and it's a PAL and it's apparently high quality, six hits and stereo, blah, blah, blah. On the back there, this was a really cheap machine, I must admit that. On the back, it doesn't have much, it has a couple of SCAN connections, antenna and audio out. But I have a special cable for it here, for this SCAN connection. And this is one of those that you can, um, you can choose if the signal goes in or out. And with a long wire. And it ends up in these colorful connections. Which component? I'm not sure. I think that might be the name for it. So we're gonna go for the out. And we're gonna put that in again. And we're gonna put the video, video recorder over here. This cable is way too long. It's, it's not good for the signal. This is old analog crap, you know, so so long cables Definitely not good. So uh, the cable from the video recorder. We will put that in yellow goes to yellow uh, Red to red white to white couldn't be any simpler than that So, so far so good. I'm very interested in if I press play over here if it's gonna show anything on my screen. So let's let's try that. I found that the remote still works. Oh my. And how moved I was by her picture. And oh, then I think a that's person so like cool. her would really want him to share his ideas with humanity, if only to give us hope. Old eighties movies. No, awesome. I this is. Job. I, mean, I, have I like time traveling films. So this is running against time. It's old, and it's about someone who tries to change time. Um, never been able to find it. So I will be able to grab that. So, uh, but let's stop that again. <laughs> That's so cool. I have another tape here. This is. Uh, this is from my mom's private collection, or actually, this is from my uh, dad's private collection. My dad is deceased, so uh, when he died, I got this tape back. This is from my confirmation. Here in Denmark, it's normal that as a infant, you get baptized. Like, you, uh, the, the parents will, on behalf of the child, say that this child will believe in God. 
and they will make sure that the child believes in God and then when you are 13 years old well you get to confirm that so this is when from when I was 13 and I confirmed that I believe in God and I haven't seen that for years could of course just have put it in the video recorder okay there are different uh, settings for um, well the quality here we can see that well we can we are picking the AV2 USB 2 connection and the microphone is the same thing so we can set the no it's it's permanently set to something we can have a little bit of setup here but it has already selected that it's using the composite uh, connection it also has the S video connection super video I think it stands for uh, control we have some settings there none of them are really we're not able to slide any of them so okay go away and we have some settings here we can select the DVD we can select well the, the thing will actually both do in TSC and PAL but as I only have a PAL video well then we have good average we want the best uh, and that's also DVD is also the best VCD is worse super VCD is a little bit better and we have DVD and DVD is by far the best that we can maybe this one let's see what that gives us of options not really anything so I'll go back and pick DVD uh, it will take up some fair amount of space I'm sure that's not really important when you capture something like this you want the best quality you can always scale it down but you can't scale it up again so we'll pick this one this one is uh, splitting size it's just if I capture more data than I would be able to uh, fit on one DVD well it will split it up into two files which is pretty neat and it will put it there I'm sure we can maybe that's a bad idea we'll put it there I want to make sure that I have any room on this computer C drive computer yeah we have uh, 87 gigabytes that's that should be enough so we're gonna put that on there we're gonna be ready to hit the record button I'm going to hit the record button and I'm going to start the video. The start of it will be pretty bad probably. When you start a video recorder back in the day. Okay, I was confirmed uh, the 16th of April 1989. So this is... Uh, that was actually my cousin. She was confirmed the same day as me, so we had our party together and she lost her hat. Okay. So this is a lot of people that I do not actually know. So this is where we had our party and the colors has, well, this tape hasn't aged well. So the colors are coming and going. And this is like almost, what is that? Almost 30 years old now. So, yikes. But, yeah. There was a hundred and four people at this confirmation thing. So this is me when I was 13. I'm, I'm up there somewhere. This is my cousin. Uh, she, she's about a half a year older than me, but we, uh, we were confirmed on the same day as I told you, and uh, oh, I look exactly the same, don't I? Well, she is a lot prettier than me, but. and we're practicing our speech. Oh, that was... I've never been good at reading, so this was actually a problem for me. Well, 
the good thing about confirmation is that you get a lot of gifts and so I am unwrapping gifts here oh I got a stereo from my mom but that's that was an awesome gift and people coming okay these uh, family party videos they really don't age well with time so well but it's probably a good idea to capture this before the video tape completely dies my mom has a better copy i think so i'll have to go try and see if i can get that away from here so with this little seven dollar six seven dollar thing from china i have now been able to relive 40 minutes of embarrassment from when i was 13 years old and um, had this party the videotape does not have much color back in it so um, probably should have done this years ago but i will end this video with me as a 13 year old little boy sounding like a nine year old girl saying thank you for all the presents and saying thank you to my parents for being such good parents Thank you very much for watching my videos. Links in the description if you want to re-see your embarrassing moments from back in the day. Um, have a nice day. Bye bye.